Ladies and gentlemen, we are hopping back into the world of Pixelmon. Uh, going directly to the pocketpixels.net server. Let's get into it. I think there's been a lot of changes uh, in the uh, in, in our little community here. So I'm excited to I'm excited to see what's going on. Green server. This is my home. See you, nerds. Whoa, there's an Ampharos over there now. Oh yeah, that's a lighthouse. If you go closer, it uh, rotates. Holy hell, it rotates. Yeah, I, I put redstone signals in. <laughs> Dude, yeah. look at this bad boy. It's a true lighthouse. This is our entrance, actually, by the town. You mean to tell me I can go in this lighthouse? Yep, it's oh hollow. My God. Nice. Oh, dude, okay. Big Ampharos lighthouse, and you can go inside the tail. This is, <laughs> this is the best thing ever. I mean, if you want, you can go up the neck. <laughs> this is sick. we got to get some torches up in this bad boy. Hell dark. I am now inside this Ampharos. Pause. And yeah, now we're in the club Ampharos, baby. Turning up. Got some glowstone up in this hoe. Very nice. Yeah, so if you want to follow me up to Vormir, that's uh, that's our uh, crowning glory. All right, let me just hop on my Drampa real quick. Get your ass over here, bro. All right. We're taking the speedy Drampa on over. Uh, it looks, right, a little, right. looks a little weird. Okay, wait, sorry. I didn't, I didn't see where you were. This thing's, this thing's too quick, man. I'm out of control. I'm going drifting. I'm on Terrakia. Is it up? Is it up the... Okay, just got to oh, bring yeah. a way cooler just Pokemon, huh? <laughs> Oh, he just goes flying by with his Terrakion. Okay, I can't. My Drampa's stuck. No, we're good. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. So here it is. I must dismount. Okay. Whoa. So uh, if, if you've ever seen Avengers uh, Infinity War, this is how you get the Soul Stone. So uh, hopefully you've brought something to yeet over the edge. Oh, yeah. Sacrifice. Oh, yeah. I have a fishing log that I think you guys, <laughs> you gave me. Yeah, feel free to oh, it. <laughs> They put my pog face. <laughs> just jumbled, nearly jumped into my mouth there is a giant pog i just looked over and i was like what the fuck is that <laughs> we have we have mini maps you can see it oh, like on the mini -map my clues. god and uh the outside when it becomes night uh it's lined with uh first marine <laughs> so it's like lit up yes how how did you make oh uh-oh uh-oh oh okay i killed myself on me and you hate to see it oops oh. That's fine. Hey, uh, an orange stone just showed up at the top. I accidentally hopped off and killed myself with my own face. That was not good. Okay, I really need a Pokemon that can fly so I can like get over there quickly. You got anything you can trade me? Fair trade this time. Fair trade. All right. <laughs> now I have... The Phantoms uh, actually evolved his to Crystal Steelix. Nice. Nice. All right, so now I have uh, one very large beast, which we can just ride. And oh my god. <laughs> It's kind of, you can't really see too well. This thing's neck is about big as hell. All right, so let's see, I have, I have a Numel. How about that? Hell yeah. I would love me a Dreepy. Just press S5 and go to the third person. Oh, oh yeah. All right, this is much easier. This, this is what is I'm talking about. Best Ultra Beast of Red. Sick. All right, so now we're gonna go take a look at the Pog from the view of a massive steel legend, which is, you know, pretty sweet. Yep, that's, that's my face. <laughs> yeah, our, our our city actually looks pretty sweet from the sky. Check this check this out. We got a lot got a lot going on. And there's also I mean it's not completely loading because I don't have my settings correct, but we also have the you know the big old Coliseum over here. We just land in the just a little quick pit stop in the Coliseum real quick and we're out of here. See you. You actually have a camera? Yeah, I've I've got it equipped right now. So if you've got a Pokemon that you like, uh, like shinies or something, uh -huh. uh, just throw out whatever Pokemon you like. I'll take a snapshot for it. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's do, uh, hmm. Okay, let's do actually my cool, my cool Greninja. How about that? Yeet. Oh, yeah. Yes, this is my boy. Also, we found out that if you have a Pokemon out and you hold a rare candy in your hands, it, uh, it's supposed to turn to you. But this, this Greninja don't give a heck. Oh, no, he does. Oh, he's running towards me. He sees it. Okay, wait, did you do? Oh. Right there on the ground. Yeah, and if you follow me, I'll show you exactly what you do with it. So if you come to the resource Greninja depot. Greninja photo. Okay. Resource Depot. Look at <laughs> look at this legit building. I it's kind of it. like uh, it's got the Hunter X Hunter logo. On it. Nice, nice. Okay, so I can go. What is this? So these are uh, Pokemon frames. We we bought them at the um, uh, furniture shop, and you oh. just put it in. <laughs> oh, look at that! Your favorite Pokemon frame. Yeah, oh, that's my boy right there. Oh, I broke him. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Oops. What have I done? I cannot be trusted with. This is why I can't have nice things. Fuck. <laughs> I keep putting in the wrong spot. Okay, but now where did my Okay, no. We're good. We're good. I did not destroy the photo. 
We leave that there forever. That is my haunted Greninja. He, he, he be chilling. This is po this is the new Pokemon Snap right here, boys. That's actually in the works. We're, we make a whole we're... gallery. Whoa, what's happening to my guy? Hold up. What? I was stuck in the wall. I was just getting beat up by this picture of a Frozmoth. What the hell? Ooh, someone's got a shiny Neoking. So this is actually pretty sweet. You can like, you can really flex oh, your yeah. squad out here. Someone's got a uh, shiny. These are all of my shinies. I just did it to decorate. But oh. anyone who wants to put their Pokemon in here, we'll we'll swap them out. Oh, well, look at you! This is a, a sweet building, by the way. I dig it. I dig it. Stay. So now you can toss these in. I'm pretty sure. All right. So here we have the this is the resource sorting system. So we can be like, yeet, just pop these blue apricorns in here, and then what? Uh, so if you notice the numbers started going down, it starts sorting it through. Uh, and then if you come over here to the elevator, the little like white blocks surrounded by mosaic right behind you. Oh. Okay. So uh, just, just shift, shift on there. like you would in the Colosseum. East. Yeah. Oh, oh, e oh, oh. I got to put up fences. It's hard to get right in the middle. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there you go. I'm in. So oh we got head. like cobble through like sandstone dirt. Uh, if you check these chests, it'll have stuff in it. And then here's the back. The, the gutty works of the system. Ooh. So we've got overflow chests on the side here, uh, down below hoppers and redstone, and nice. then on the back here, uh, redstone comparators and redstone repeaters. Dude, back in my day, you just built a dirt house and then that was playing Minecraft. But now, what? what it, I don't even. How do you learn how to do all this? There's my guys right there. Did they go into different chests? Oh my god, <laughs> there is more apricorns than you ever need in here. Yeah, they're hooked up to the farm upstairs. Uh, so Lord. the big farm with the chests, uh, back chests automatically filter in. I have it like set up underground, and then the front chests are there for like community nice. use. There will never be a shortage of pokeballs in this city. So, so you're telling me this farm is hooked up to that system down there, and we just be harvesting these bad boys effortlessly? Yeah. Uh, if you notice, the front chest has all the apricorns in it, and the back chests do not. Oh. So the back chests are slowly filtering out. It's really backed up. I had to slow it down because uh, <laughs> the server. You're wild, bro. This guy is the backbone of the community here. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to build uh, public facilities, you know. How did oh, how uh, did this numal camera up? How did this numal get on the roof? Would just you like to fight a mega camera up? Uh, yes. Where is it uh, at? I think somebody's already fighting it. Oh, look at there's just two bosses. Just why are the bosses always green? <laughs> yeah. Okay, hold on. They're always just... like level 75. I'm just going to fuck this guy up real quick. See you later. Nine... Level... Oh, wait. Oh, God. This trap inch is level 96, and I didn't realize. Oh, God. I'm going to have a bad time here. Turned your ass into dust. How do you like that? <laughs> 1,500 experience points, and he gave me three sands. So guess what? I'm going to drop all those. No, thanks. Oh, Zeke is just inside of this. You're inside of it, man. It's it's the best way to ride a Pokemon. Do you need help? And how do I help you? No, oh, yeah. Show me how to breed. Skull Bash's house. Um, you'll get these uh, blue flowers, ranch okay. blocks. Mm -hmm. uh, when you click on them, uh, like over here, this one's popped up. Uh, uh -huh. So it'll show you if you have like an egg inside and it'll tell you uh, whether the Pokemon are, you know, enjoying each other's company. So based on the blocks you put down, um, so like white wool is good for normal types. So if you're breeding mm -hmm. something with a ditto, you put half white wool and then half of the other Pokemon's type. Interesting. And, uh, you can breed Pokemon this way. Really? So uh, is it is this Bagon just chilling in the fire, or is he breeding? Oh, there's two of them. Are they? Yeah, I think uh, Endstone is for dragons. Are so they the hacking? Fire... So yeah. you mean to tell me that these Bagons right here are hacking? But they're both level one. They're babies. Is this allowed? I mean, the the lighting's right. So. <laughs> Mood's all there. Hmm. So wait. So there so there is an egg in here. This is someone else's egg. I I, I can't take this. Okay, wait, don't, uh, so don't you have, so you're Ho-Oh, there's something, he's, he's like a dwarf, right? You got a tiny ass boy? Pygmy. So Pygmy is the smallest pygmy. size you can get. There's a 0% chance <laughs> yes. that something will be uh, microscopic or, or oh ginormous. Oh my god, that's hilarious. I wondered, I saw this the other day and I was like, this is a tiny Ho-Oh. And it turns out it's, it, it, it's for a reason. That's like, is it more rare to get the small boys? Like, you want this? Yeah, there's a percentage chance. So the ordinary is obviously the highest. And then uh -huh. as you scale up or down in terms of growth size, uh, it gets a smaller percentage. And then 0% for microscopic and uh, ginormous. But if you breed two pygmies uh -huh. or two uh, enormous uh, Pokemon, you get you have like a chance of getting it like even larger growth. Really? And so you yeah. could have, like theoretically, you could have just like a massive Caterpie that's just huge. Is that huge for its size yeah so i think yeah. the goal for most people is like i found the joltic which is naturally small but it's uh -huh. pygmy so it's like microscopic oh let me see so. it you got him yeah i'll go grab him actually i can grab him right here <laughs> we're about uh, to see, see the smallest pokemon in existence 
of all time. So I've ever. got a uh, enormous milk tank. Uh, oh hell yeah! Bring them all. Let me see them all. Okay. <laughs> so here is the uh, pygmy lapras. Wait, wait, hold on. There's too much going on. Was that a tiny lapras? Hold up. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring it over here where it's easier to see visually. <laughs> all right. Show me your lapras, bro. Can you put him in? Wait, where'd you go? Oh, yeah, I was I'll right put here. Him in water. Yeah, put him into water. <laughs> this is his little pond. It's like the ocean for this little Lapras. Yeah, that is the cutest Lapras ever. So small. I fucking love, I love your baby Lapras. Look at this guy. Right, here's Joltik. You may He's miss him. He's chilling. He'll blend in with the sand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> gotta it's, it's, bust uh, out my pig. magnifying glass on this thing. I love him. And then we got uh, Moomy Milkers right here. Oh my god. What the, What did they do to my guy? This, this milk tank looks uncomfortable. <laughs> Just... <laughs> So that is that is a what's the what's the term for for large, the the big sorry. Oh, uh, the, the largest size you can get is enormous. Uh, I think the only one I have is a typhlosion, enormous typhlosion. Okay, so what? So, but so what was that mill tank? It was like a. That that a, one was enormous. Yeah. Okay, and so that this is an enormous typhlo, typhlosion right here. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's it's enormous for its size. It's like a multiplier for the size. So uh -huh. an enormous Joltik would just you know it wouldn't be the size of this Typhlosion. Yeah. Obviously. Okay. Well, that'd be cool if it was though. Look at. Okay. This guy looks uncomfortable on this here. Yeah. Camera upped. Uh, <laughs> oh, right I got growth right. tokens. Hold up. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, you can change the growth. Oh my God. Yes. Can I make something huge? So Big small. dick be be looking pretty small these days. All right. Hold up. Let's uh let me eat this thing out. So this is my this is my big old steel. Um, and then so I just right click on it with these these a growth token allows you to change the growth of your Pokemon. Step one, right click on the token. Step two, select the Pokemon you would like to change the growth of. Step three, select growth. Uh, so I right click the token, but I, does that mean just with it? Okay. Uh, choose Pokemon one. So let's deal it. Okay. Yes, yes. I select one. Uh, growth ordinary, microscopic pygmy. So what does this mean? Can I can make him? ginormous oh i've made him ginormous oh my god oh you can actually choose ginormous all right yes yeah, so so i can choose like what i want it holy that's, hell that's the other way to get it it's a zero percent chance unless you have that token you're it's too incredible. you're too large now i don't know what to do with you sick bro okay whoa god you hop up oh okay I, I it's so big that i hopped off him and i died what the, <laughs> what the <laughs> you hell? take damage because you're too high up <laughs> Oh, we're about to see it. We're about to see it. This guy's been feeding it rare candies. It's going down. Evolution animation is actually pretty sweet. Hell yeah. <laughs> his dreepies now live inside of his head. Just the best father ever. Warp space nether. Let's go to hell, boys. <laughs> oh, we're in. Oh, it's actually like, it's like built and everything. Look at this. What? We've done it. So I assume, yeah, there's probably just like a bunch of fire types around here. So this is the... This is a Pokemon Center. They have Pokemon Centers in Hell, so it doesn't, it doesn't seem, half, seem half bad. I'm about it. Let's go see what we can find in the wilds here, huh? Just me and my buddy Zeke. Is that my... Oh, that's somebody else's Garchomp, I was going to say. Okay, should, I, should we fly? Should we? Where should we go? Oh, okay, there's there's Diglets in Hell. There's also a Dusclops over here, of course. Okay. Nice. All VGC people would, you know, agree that this is where this thing belongs, and it just hit me, and now it's gone. What the hell? <laughs> Just ally switched oh, they on just my got ass. Purged, yeah. Hey, that's uh, an impidimp. <laughs> just an impidimp in the nether. Just, just eating some rocks. My boy Zeke better come at me with some sweet goggles. Uh, it doesn't Thank look you. the greatest. You don't wear them over your eyes. You wear them on top of your head. But nice, <laughs> nice. Okay, so what is this? What does this change? Uh, when we go to the um, uh. What is it? Ultra space. Uh, it's oh, got yeah, like yeah. this red mist that makes everything impossible to see. Nice. Um, and so this will uh, clear that up for you. Very nice. Oh. Do you see this uh, glowing portal? Ladies and gents, we now have a wormhole. And I will be yeeting out my Garchomp. Let's go in there. <laughs> it's kind of hard to fly what? this thing. This is not the easiest boy to fly. Oh, oh, I'm in. I'm in. Whoa. What the hell? Yeah, we'll join you in just a second. I think he has to create another one. So since I have my goggles on, I can see better. This this is the real hell. Jesus, man. <laughs> yeah, try taking them off. It's like impossible. Let's see. Wait. Oh, yep. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty pretty bad. Can't see shit. Oh, I found something. It's a chat tot. 
And there's this pan sage. We've got, ladies and gentlemen, we've got Mons in the wormhole. Oh, sounds like you're in a jungle. I am. I'm just gonna throw, oh. I kinda want this chat out. So, is there anything different about wormhole jungle mons, or is this just... The Pokemon in the wormholes have... Um, they have their hidden abilities? So I, I must... uh, actually, yeah, I think there might be like a higher chance for that. Oh, well. that's actually pretty sweet. So now everything's all green because I'm in the because I'm in like the jungle or, or forest now. This is. I think the scary. environment changes color just like periodically. It's pretty trippy. Yeah. This is trippy, man. I feel like I'm on drugs. I gotta get the hell out of here, bro. Starmie allows me to just chill on top of him, unlike freaking Greninja's worthless ass. This is fine. We're gonna go. Just nice into oh. the deep. God, the teeth are horrifying. <laughs> of the Starmie. Or Does the... it look like I'm not even writing anything? The Pygmy Lapras? Yeah, I mean, you can see. You're like basically twice the size of the thing, so it just looks weird. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think my Lapras is struggling to hold my weight. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. Look at the size of this little fella. Poor guy. <laughs> yeah, there should be like little saddle hearts uh, on your bottom bar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that is. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so my Starmie is pretty strong, but not that strong. So we're just gonna fly by the old Coliseum. Check, the, I love the Coliseum, it's literally so cool. And now we have an Ampharos overseeing it to make sure there's no shenanigans. So. Make sure right, no I, uh, I ships. I believe I'm, uh... I'm landed in, sa in safe to dismount. Okay, yep, I almost died, <laughs> that, but we That was good. risky, I saw it. Whale shoot, Richard Pinch. <laughs> Hold up. Look at my man Richard Pinch over here. <laughs> he chillin'. He chillin'. 